Hi, in today's video, we'll be focusing on fruits that are okay for you to eat when you're on dialysis. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Jonathan Diaz, a registered, registered dietitian working with patients on dialysis. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. Uh, and you might be on dialysis yourself or you have a family member who is receiving dialysis or is about to receive dialysis. So in today's video, you will notice that I will talk about fruits that are okay to eat because there are tons of fruits and other foods that are high in potassium. So today I will address the fruits that are okay to eat and you don't have to worry too much about them. That being said, always check with your dietitian and your doctor on what your labs are because your potassium could be high or could be low, but it's good to know where you're at. Normal ranges are from 3.5 to 5.5. Those are the normal potassium ranges. Now, if it happens to be really high, talk to your dietitian or your doctor to figure out what the cause may be. It can be many things. It can be uh, <laughs> constipation. It can be also some medications for blood pressure because it does happen. Um, blood sugars that are uncontrolled so diabetes that is not well managed can also cause it to go up and gastrointestinal bleeding bleeding somewhere inside the body whether it's from the colon to the large intestine small intestine to the stomach to the throat all that can affect potassium and of course last but not least the things that you eat can also cause your potassium to go up so today i want to take some of that doubt out uh, from your thoughts and put in more um, more uh, knowledge so I have the list right here so let's get it going the fruits that are okay to have on while you're on dialysis apples uh, apples made in any way cider juice sauce whole all right so if you have it whole it's always the best and have it with the skin one thing I forgot to mention when you go for fruits size of your fist size of your fist if it's a fresh Fruit. So no more than the size of your fist or half a cup per meal. So everything will be per meal, not for the whole day. So it can be one apple like this for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner, and so forth. Next one, apricots. Apricots, whether it's canned or fresh. We also have blueberries, my favorite, whether you can have them frozen or fresh. Again, that will be half a cup. Uh, blackberries, poisonberries, cherries. Uh, we got also coconut meat. This is a, an important one. Coconut meat, not coconut water. Coconut water is high mm. potassium. Coconut meat, the actual meat itself, you can have. It's actually pretty safe. We also got going on this list, cranberries, whether it's juice, fresh, or um, whole. Again, since they're little tiny berries, half a cup for every meal. Uh, figs, that's a good one. An expensive one, so when you eat it, eat it with your pinky. <laughs> so figs are, are good to have. Fruit cocktails, grew up with those as a kid. I still have them once in a while. Cup or can. Obvious, obviously, throw out the juice so you don't have to worry about any potassium in the water. A gooseberries, grapes, whether it's fresh or juice. Kumquats, little tiny, uh, like little tiny oranges. Pretty sour, delicious in my opinion. Lemon and lime, whether it's juice or whole, try to go for the whole, squeeze the juice out yourself. That pre-squeeze little bottles are... Loquats, lychees, mandarins, peach, whether it's can, cup, or whole. Pears, those are good in fiber as well. Have it with the skin, the pears. Remember, everything says your fist. Pineapples, plums, prickly pears, raspberries, strawberries, tangerines, and watermelon. Now, watermelon does have fluid, lots of water. So that counts as a water too, or fluid. So when you do have those, be aware of that. But it's good to have, it's low potassium. So now if I missed anything from this list that I will post on my, on my Facebook channel uh -oh. in my description and you'll go straight to my Facebook page and you'll see the image of this list I have on there in English and in Spanish. 
And if you're not sure about a fruit that you're eating that I did not mention in this video, leave a comment down below. I will answer it gladly. And there's other people in the community that will answer it for you as well, but I will answer it for you. So don't forget, hit the, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to not miss any new content that I post every Friday. And I'm Jonathan Diaz, your dietitian. And again, thanks for your support. You have a good weekend.